Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of our studio. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to check heteroscedasticity using brush pattern test. You can find more videos on our studio, SPSS, econometrics, mathematical economics, and economics on my YouTube channel. The link is given in the description. So let's begin with the idea of heteroscedasticity. When we perform simple linear regression model or multiple linear regression model, we assume that or, or we assume the equal scatter of residuals. But if residuals are unequally scattered, then we have the problem of heteroscedasticity. So heteroscedasticity refers to the case where there is a systematic change in the spread of the residuals over the range of measured values. And if we have the problem of heteroscedasticity, we can not use ordinary least squares method to estimate the parameters. So let's see how to check whether we have the uh, heteroscedasticity in our data set or not. So I'm going to use the marketing data set, which is available in R. So first you need to install the package called data RIUM and then use the uh, library command. So let's, let's see the data first. So here I have the marketing data. So you can see a data frame containing here this is the data set containing the impact of three advertising medias, YouTube, Facebook, and newspaper on sales. Data are the advertising budget in thousands of dollars along with the sales. The advertising experiment has been repeated 200 times. So now we are interested to know the effect of these three medias on sales. And therefore, we can use multiple linear regression model. So let's run the multiple linear regression model first. So MLRM, multiple linear regression model. We use LM command. You can find my whole video on multiple linear regression model. Link is given in the description. So LM, sales, which is our dependent variable, YouTube plus Facebook plus newspaper. data is equal to marketing and then MLRM. So run these two commands simultaneously and you can see the result of multiple linear regression models. So write summary MLRM. So here we have coefficients and here we have R square and uh, P value. I'm not going to explain the multiple linear regression model in this video because the same uh, video is available on the channel by and, and I've used the same example. So let's move to the heteroscedasticity. Now we need to check whether uh, we have the heteroscedasticity problem or not. Actually, we check this before we perform the uh, regression analysis, but I've shown you how to perform the multiple linear uh, regression model uh, in this video. So the command is BP test, that is Bruch Pagan test, and simply write MLRM. So we want to perform the Bruch Pagan test on this regression model called MLRM, and simply run the command. Now, before we interpret the result, we need to know the null and alternative hypothesis. So null hypothesis says that we have the homoscedasticity in the data and alternative hypothesis says that we have the problem of heteroscedasticity. So here you can see 
the taste statistic or sample statistic is 5.1329, degree of freedom is 3 and associated p-value is 0.1623. Now here, p-value is less than, is higher than 0 0.05. Therefore, we fail to reject H0. So, there is no problem of heteroscedasticity in the data. Or in other words, you can say the data is homoscedastic. So this is the idea of heteroscedasticity. If you like this video, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you.